Okay, so it's been a while since I've recorded one of these. So I'm not really too sure what to make for this one. Like, I know Don Tolliver just released a single, and I think he's preparing for a new album. Kind of want to make something like that, but I also want some high BPM stuff as well. So let's just see what I can come up with. And since I'm a bit rusty for this one, I think it might be time to try out some new technology. So a while ago, I did a video on the second Eternal multi kit, and since then, I've been sent the expansion bundle for it. Like, I didn't know they were releasing DLC for sound packs nowadays. So, of course, this video was made possible by Prodvaum, who sent me the Fate expansion bundle. So, yeah, I'm just gonna see what I can do with it. So, I might start off with a higher BPM one, and I think for the first beat, I'll rely on the pack a little bit more. And for the second one, I'll do something a bit more in my comfort zone, so it should sound a bit more like Don Tolliver. Okay, you've got some accents, arps, drums. Nice, okay. I don't normally do this, but I might start off with an arp. I mean, that could just be a main melody by itself, to be honest. I'm gonna take the end part of this melody, then I'm gonna make it unique, then I'll reverse it, and I'll add that as like a counter melody. Man, some of these are kind of spooky. Yeah, I'm gonna throw some effects on this real quick. Okay, I think I've got a pretty solid 8 bar loop. Might add a bass line to this now. Oh man, it just had to be called Thrash, didn't it? I mean, this sounds kind of cold, even though it does sound like a Pokemon. about this one okay I think it might be time for the fun part If I do something like this. Oh, but bro, why the name? Like, I can't keep living like this, man. Most complex 808 pattern I've ever seen. Not too bad, honestly. I think I'm gonna finish this one up and then play the final beat. I think that's sounding pretty good. Honestly, by the end, it turned kind of into a not a work type beat. I think considering it's out my comfort zone, I think that one didn't turn out too bad. All right, moving on. Okay, I think for this beat, I'm gonna do something a bit more in my comfort zone. Of course, Bandit's really cold. Like, I'll probably do a breakdown of it at some point, though I did especially like the track preview that he had at the end. So for that, I'm going to need a BPM of like roughly 125. And for this beat, I'm gonna try and use the pack the way that I would most of the time, which is mainly for ornamentation and embellishment. So 
So not a bad start. I feel like it might be difficult to come up with codes for that. Can't lie, I'm still addicted to using these multi keys. Like this one will be so much easier to use, so. Already the beat's getting kind of creepy and I don't really know what to do about it. I might just layer this with one more thing. Now honestly, I don't really use this plugin too much because, well, serum. But I found this pretty unique sound, so I might just use this. Layers now. So now I'm going to open up the Faith Kit again and I'll add some accents and embellishments and stuff like that. I mean, this one sounds cold, but I might just reverse it. At this point, there's more than enough going on, so I'm gonna add my drums once again. I'm gonna keep them very simple. Right now the beat's sounding a bit too messy, there's just way too much going on, so I'm gonna mix this down, arrange it, and then towards the end I'll play the final beat. I think when it's laid out like this, you realize that there's actually not that much going on. I think this one's way more in my comfort zone, so it didn't take as long to make. I think it's missing some effects, but I can always add that before I put it out. But for now I'm just gonna listen to the final beat and see what it sounds like.
Honestly, I think I prefer the second beat to the first one, mainly because I'm used to making these kind of beats, so it just sounds slightly better to me. I think the mix definitely needs some work. I know it's tough to make something sound bad with Don Tolliver vocals, but I did hear the original vocal drop from the track. It's still audible there, which I'm not a big fan of, especially because it sounds kind of out of tune compared to the rest of the beat. But apart from that, I think it sounds pretty good. So of course, big thank you to Prod Varum for sending me the Fate expansion bundle. And of course, if you want to use any of the sounds from this video in your own production, there'll be links in the description where you can get them all for a discount. And of course, thank you for watching. And until next time, I will be patiently waiting for Don Tolliver's new album. So I'm going to take one more listen to the beat and just see what I can do better for next time.